It takes several steps to get food from farm to fork. We call these steps the food production chain. Contamination can occur at any point along this chain. Production, processing, distribution and preparation. So how does food get contaminated? Let's take a look at the steps in this chain so that we can identify where each step of contamination can occur. Production can be defined as growing crops that are harvested or raising animals that are used for food. Most foods come from either domesticated stock animals and crops where production occurs on farms. Some foods are caught or harvested from the wild such as fish, mushrooms and game. So how does food get contaminated in the production chain? Chicken can carry many different bacteria that is carried on the skin or in the gut. Bacteria are known to eat their own and their flocks feces, which allows the bacteria to spread throughout. During the slaughtering process, incorrect washing of the chicken can cause the contamination to transfer to meat. Infected odors of a cow can transfer to the milk, making unpasteurized milk products very high risk. A hen's reproductive organs can get infected where the yolk of an egg has become contaminated in the hen even before the egg is laid. In the fields, the soil can harbor bacteria that is natural to the environment but dangerous to humans. The use of animal manure can also be very dangerous. If the fields are sprayed with contaminated water for irrigation, fruits and vegetables can become contaminated before harvest. Fish in some tropical reefs may get a toxin from smaller sea creatures that they consume. These can then transfer the contamination to us when we consume these foods. Processing is defined as altering crops or animal meats into what we recognize as food. Processing can involve various steps using a variety of foods. If contaminated water or ice is used to wash, pack or chill fruits or vegetables, the contamination can spread to those items. Peanut butter can become contaminated if roasted peanuts are stored in unclean conditions or, become, or come into contact with contaminated raw peanuts. This is a good example of cross-contamination of raw ingredients to the final product. During the slaughtering process, pathogens on an animal's hide can come into contact with intestines and can contaminate the final product. This is especially true for chickens. Distribution is the means by which we transport food from the farm to processing plants to the consumer or food service facility, such as a restaurant or hotel kitchen. This step may involve transporting foods just once, such as trucking produce from a farm to a local farmer's market, or it may involve many stages. For example, frozen hamburger patties might be transported from a meat processing plant and then to a larger supplier, stored for a few days in the supplier's warehouse, trucked again to the local distribution facility, for a restaurant chain and finally delivered to an individual restaurant. So how does food get contaminated in the distribution chain? Refrigerated foods being left out on a loading dock for too long in warm weather, these could encourage temperatures of a critical range which allow bacteria to grow. Fresh produce can be contaminated if it is loaded into a truck that was not properly cleaned and sanitized after the transportation of animals or animal products. The contents of a glass jar that breaks into transport can also contaminate nearby foods. Chemical spillages can also contaminate products. Preparation can be defined as the process of getting foods ready to eat. This step may occur in the kitchen of a restaurant, home or catering facility. This may also involve following a complex recipe with many ingredients or simply heating and serving on a plate or just opening a package and eating the food. So how does food get contaminated in the preparation chain? Not sufficiently washing fruits and vegetables. A food handler coming to work whilst he or she is sick and spreading the illness to staff and customers. Staff not washing their hands after using the toilet or handling raw meats. If a chef uses a cutting board or knife to cut raw chicken and then uses the same knife or cutting board without washing to slice tomatoes, this could also cause possible cross-contamination from the chicken. Contamination also occurs within a refrigerator if meat juices get into contact with any other items. By the time the food causes the illness, it may have been mishandled in several ways along the production chain. Once the contamination occurs, further mishandling of food such as undercooking or leaving out at ambient temperatures can allow an outbreak to be more likely. Many pathogens grow quickly in food held at room temperature and a tiny amount can grow to a large number in just a few hours. Reheating foods after items have been left out at room temperature for long periods may not always be the final answer due to pathogens that produce toxins that are not destroyed by heat. Therefore, it is imperative to follow all the food safety pillars to ensure that a solid foundation of safe food can be built.